Apart from COVID-19's negative effect, uh, economic effect on nations, there are social plights that diseases brought to many countries. One of such is in Zimbabwe, where the society is tackling increased drug abuse. Local initiatives are set to help the country cope. Zimbabwe is slowly getting back on its feet after an eased lockdown. But they have something else to worry about. A haunting trail of drug abuse. 40-year-old Tabeth Moyera is a recovering addict. I started drug abuse when I was just 16 years old. As a result of that, I ended up taking part in commercial sex work. From the money I got, I would channel it towards buying more drugs and alcohol. With an addiction once high, I would also end up being violent. The Zimbabwe Civil Liberties and Drug Network, founded in 2011, has been at the forefront in helping battle substance abuse. The network has several community support groups and is active in five provinces. Uh, we have been also providing a lot of information to the communities through electronic and print media. Uh, giving them more information uh, on the dangers of, uh, of drugs. We have been also supporting uh, the uh, meetings of people who use drugs in the communities. And what these people do is they run some uh, drug use prevention programs. Uh, they also try to identify and engage people who use drugs in the communities uh, so that uh, they can handle the, the issue at community level. But as organizations such as these play their role, the fight against drug abuse narrows down to individual commitment. Even after suffering from the impact of drug addiction, a person can change for the better. Upon fully devoting to positive thoughts and deep reflection, my life bears testimony to that. Moyera is determined to change her life for the better despite the challenges. To support this, the government launched the Zimbabwe Drug Master Plan in 2020 as a roadmap for the implementation of treatment and rehabilitation.